Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be about jeans. All jeans, denim, denim, denim. I don't consider myself a denim girl, but I love a good denim, especially a denim that's a statement denim. Every here and now, you'll see me rock just regular plain jeans, especially like for those who work in corporate America still, the unfortunate, the unfortunate population of, of us, myself included, that are still part of corporate America, they will us with the occasional casual dress down Fridays where they let us wear jeans. And even those jeans that they allow you to wear usually have to be simple, no skin showing, no cutouts, no torn, distressed, detailing, just simple plain jeans. I have a few of those, and I, again, I don't wear them often, but for things like dress down Fridays, slash casual Fridays at work, in the office, that's usually what I'll wear them to. Or if I'm just running errands and I don't really care about looking cute or fashion forward, I'll wear those. But generally, jeans are just, I don't find them comfortable, to be honest. I'm someone who prefers dresses and skirts because of the allowance and the freedom and like the ventilation. Because, you know, it can get a little. You get a little steamy down there for no reason. I I perspire easily, like I sweat very very easily. So I prefer having like a skirt or a dress so that I can kind of breathe down there. But when I do want to wear some jeans, when I'm in the mood to wear jeans, I want to wear a statement jean. So today's video is going to be all about statement jeans and the top statement jeans you should be looking out for. Of course, I'll link everything below. So let's get into it. So, for this first look, I'm wearing these Margiela jeans. At this point, I feel like they're a closet staple. I haven't seen a single person who looks bad at them. I feel like this is a universal jean for every woman. Is it safe to say that? I feel like it is. I'm declaring it. Get you these jeans. Try to get them on sale. I got mine on sale. They are pricey, not gonna lie. But try to get them on sale. I think I got them for about 30% off. I think from Farfetch about two years ago. And I just love them. They fit so well. They're high waisted. They just look good around the back. The back side looks really cute and nice. And I love the shape. It's like a boyfriend shape, but it tapers. It comes out, it's pretty wide leg, but then it towards the bottom of the, like the leg, it tapers a little bit, which I love. It's kind of like a billowy silhouette and it kind of cinches towards the end. Love that shape. And it, they fit great. They're super comfortable. I love the wash, and what really makes them distinct is the artist slash detailing right here on either side. It shows a bit of skin, but not too much. Not appropriate for the office, definitely not appropriate for there, but this is a cute, casual pair of jeans that can elevate any kind of basic look. Uh, by the way, Margiela's having a real couture moment right now. If you're watching all the fashion week, the Paris Fashion Week, like Paris Health Couture Fashion Week, Fit footage and content, oh my gosh, immaculate. Margiela honestly won. Scaparelli expected to always win, but Margiela's surprising competitor. I'm wearing these in a size 40, Italian 40, which is a US 4. I'm in between sizes, I'm kind of between a 4 or slash 6. I'm a, probably more of a 6 size, so I would still suggest getting your own size. I got an Italian 40, which is a US 4. So, Definitely stick to your usual size. They run a true to size. But yeah, I just love them. You can't, they don't do it. You, you can't go wrong. They look good with everything. They look good dressed up, dressed down. Look good with a blazer, with a sweatshirt, with a blouse like this, which is a Zimmerman. This blouse is Zimmerman. I love Zimmerman. I know the focus of this video is basically just jeans, but you know, I'm showing, I'm showcasing different ways style of jeans or style down. Mostly style up because I definitely dress up more than I dress down. Um, but I love this over the top. I saw it on, I think it was, it's definitely still on sale. I'll definitely link this below. Obviously everything that, that I can find I'll link below. And it's just so unique. It's like a corset blouse. It's cropped so it kind of pretty much stops, stops like right at the cage. And it it stitches you in, so it's pretty snug. It has a bony and structure, which is very typical of Zimmerman. Zimmerman is, they're just, they're so good at their fabric choices. This is, I believe, a linen silk blend, as is most of their fabrics. 
uh, we use cotton as well quite heavily. So Catlons are meant for natural fabrics. I wore a Zimmerman two-piece set in Nigeria in my previous vlog, so definitely check that out. I love that outfit, I got so many compliments. It was such a statement, standout piece, of just look, I loved it. And yeah, it, you zip yourself in and back. Kind of like how you put a bra on, so you know how you put it on backwards and you twist it around and put your arms through. That's exactly how you wear this top. Love it, love how the look came together. I love how it's like romantic. Sweetheart neckline, cute blouse pairs with these casual, like slightly distressed jeans. I feel like it's a good mix of casual, but elevated casual. You know, casual in the bottom, flirty and fun and chic and just fashionable on top. But yeah, and I love the puff sleeves on the bus. And I paired it with this column that goes a choker. I've worn it before. I love this. Got it from the real world. A few years ago, I think like five, six years ago at this point, for a really great price. And it's, I love her pieces. Paul Mendoza, again, I'll link everything below, below, but she is a wonderful jeweler based in Colombia. Um, but yeah, I love it. I saw, who was it? Kate Beckinsale with it, and I stopped this choker for like probably over a year until I finally found it on the real world. So never give up on the pieces that you love. And I'm wearing the whole look, topping it off with these Valentino rock studs, old plastic, they're kitten heel, just enough to elevate the jeans. The jeans are a little long, and I like how it kind of raises it up and brings it past, you know, so you see the shoe, and also so it's not on the floor, or like satin, so I love that. And the back is Olympia the Tan, I love her book clutches, I have another one in leather, that's purple color. And you've probably seen it before, I like where it finds it. And yeah, that's the look. Let me know what you think. Three different tones of plaid, so like 
the body part, like the bottom part of it was like one flat, then like the inner flat part, you see here that's blue, was like one color, and then I think like inside here, the inner, like the tongue part of the flap was another color, I think, or maybe like up here was, I don't know, but it was like three, three plaid tones, three different shades of plaid, it was, I love those pants. I tried ordering, I ordered one, but it was too small. One thing about my project, his sizing is so, at least for jeans, I just have his jeans, they, they run very small. So I normally do a 28, 27, 28, and I have to get these in 30, and then take them in, because the waist is too big. It was so hard to fit over me. Um, so just keep that in mind. These jeans, these are old, they're sold out, they fit great, they're straight leg, they're pretty long, so I have the, um, I rolled up the, um, the hems, and yeah, I just love how you can just flap it. It's such a cool design element, and it makes an otherwise boring jean very, very interesting. Uh, let me see where the back. But yeah, so those are the jeans. The top is an old ASOS blouse that I've had probably since I was like 20. I think I got it while I was still a college student. Pure cotton, super, it was like super cheap, probably like 30 bucks or something, I think less. Um, and I love it, I've had this for so long. And it's cool because it has like a rope detail, which I think is so very much like, first of all, it just gives sailor vibes. This whole top gives very much sailor vibes, and I love it. I love the rope. Well, it's not the same one, but it kind of looks like the rope that you use to tie those stops. But I love that, like it's really playing on the whole sailor theme. And like also the cape look detail, I love this cape look detail. It's so fun and cute, it just adds so much interest to this blouse. And then obviously the navy and white striking, just by sheer nature, gives very much sailor vibes and navy vibes. So yeah, I love this outfit. Super comfortable, super fun. Some of you can totally wear brunch. Oh, the top is in the small. And I'll find some ways if I can, but this is a very old top. ASOS no longer makes this, but I will find some ways. Um, but again, you can wear this brunch, you can wear this to the museum, on a date, like a casual date, you know. And then I have my Louboutin pumps just to elevate the look a little bit. You can obviously wear like a more casual flat. Even sneakers. You can totally wear this look with sneakers. Like a nice clean pair of like white sneakers, sneakers or tennis shoes if they say in the UK. And you're good to go. And then, but yeah, I have these Louboutin hot chick pumps and I love them because they're very much my flesh tone nude and they're comfortable. The thing with Louboutin is, y'all, because y'all love to cancel Louboutin because apparently they, but they're un unbearable or just like impossible to walk in. And I think the issue is people have been buying like the 110 millimeter, 105 millimeter heel height and that's too high. Like I know by mid age, I can't do more than four inches unless there's some sort of platform. Um, but yeah, like don't stop buying these so that are 110 millimeters. It's like five inches with no platform. Your foot's like this. 100 millimeter and under height. Like know your height limit and then make sure when you order the shoes or boots on shoes or any shoes, you're ordering something that you know is your limit or within your limits. Um, and I love these, they're, they're slim back, they're part of the Hot Chick, uh, like, shoe series, and so he has many, many variations of the Hot Chick shoe. Um, it's known distinctively by the kind of, like, scalloped, uh, edge, and so there's like, the regular pump style version, there's, like, the slim back set line, there's flats, there's booties, there's, like, a scalloped design that runs kind of, like, towards where, like, the heel is. But yeah, that's the look. I hope you like it. Oh, and then that is Gucci. This is a Gucci Dionysus. Love it. Good old faithful. That years ago to GMAX. And I love it. It's very structured. It has some bling to it. It's black, so it's like, it's like subdued, subdued glamour. That's what I'm gonna call it, subdued glamour. And yeah, just wanted to cinch the look off with something that was more classic. But yeah, that is the look.
my area, and they are a showstopper. These jeans are the conversation. These jeans are a moment. These jeans are that girl. And when you're wearing that girl, you become that girl. Period. Um, so I love these jeans. I, I first saw them on on Brown Girl Chi Chi Smalls. And she wore them during your fashion week, and I love them. I recently, recently saw one of her videos talking about how it's like one of her worst purchases, and I was like, oh, that's sad, because I don't agree. I thought she looked amazing in it. And I can say the same for me. I love how they fit, they fit perfect. I'm clearly like not a skinny jean person, and honestly, in this lineup of trendy statement jeans, I don't have any to just let y'all know to all y'all skinny jean lovers, jetty lovers. I'm not including any of them in this video because I just don't love them. They're not my favorite cut for jeans. But these are my favorite. These are similar to kind of Margiela in terms of, not, they're different, obviously, different cuts, but they're similar in that they have like a, they fit snug on top and they kind of like, root, like loosen up and widen towards like the thigh area and then taper off towards the, the leg, at like the bottom of the jean, towards the foot. And I love that silhouette. I love how it fits the back side. And it also has almost like a Margiela, but very, very different. And it's like an exaggerated Margiela jean. Uh, so you have the side slit, which like Margiela's, but this one it billows way out. Like, it's a big, giant slit. It's, it's like a cutout. <laughs> and you have these cute, you have this, these cute like panels on each side. And um, I think they use very thick stitching to keep the fabric up, but they double line with the denim fabric so it's very stiff. So no boning to keep the structure, which is amazing, genius, right? No boning. So it's still, you know, has a little bit of weight to it, but not too much. And they line it inside, they adorn it in these gorgeous crystals for just about maybe like four or five inches this high uh, within the, the jean. So it's really pretty. When you look down, I'll try and show you all coming up soon, um, how it looks like looking down. It's it's gorgeous. It's a vibe. I love it. I love the color. I love that the back has like this sweet heart, like this heart shape, like so cute. The single pocket for this shirt. I am wearing this Vivian Westfield drunken shirt. It's, that's what it's called. It's called a drunken shirt. And I kind of get why. Because it's like, it's like tailored irregularly, like the buttons and I guess the way that the top is kind of like um, shaped is kind of like ruffled and misshapen on purpose, which it gives a nice, it gives it a nice billowy kind of effect on top, and I love that. It's not a boring, plain button-down white shirt. It's like a white button-down with like interest and like charm. So, so very much on brand for Vivian Westwood. And this shirt is pretty, I mean, I know affordability is very relative, but for Vivian Westwood, it's definitely on the lower price range for her stuff. So again, I'll link everything below, but definitely get y'all should this top. It's very work appropriate too. Like you definitely, I work for a conference and then everybody loved it. It just maybe it's more of a mix between like dressier, like more elevated or dressier kind of way to elevate <laughs> the denim on the jeans. And the jeans, again, they're statement jeans. So they don't need too much elevation because they themselves are very like intricate and interesting. And the top just kind of like makes it more like businessy, but like fun business because of the rough design and the way it's kind of misshapen. But yeah, basic but not so basic. A not so basic basic. <laughs> and then for the bag, I have this Saint Laurent takeout bag. Very popular, very polarizing bag. People either absolutely hate it or absolutely love it. I fall in the later camp, clearly, because I own it. I love unique bags. I love statement bags. I love conversation pieces, and this is certainly one. And it has this really cool, like, YSL logo in, logo in the middle, and like the hardware, like silver hardware. And then all throughout the bag, it's like embossed in the YSL logo. And the, it's completely lined in suede leather, gorgeous inside, and very good. You can fit so much in here. It's crazy how much you can fit. And the way you open it is you kind of like open up each tab on either side, and then you close it similarly. 
which takes a bit of fidgeting, but honestly, it's not that bad. I don't mind it at all. And I'm just glad that like the fidgeting and opening and closing it doesn't damage the back. It hasn't damaged it. It's still in pristine condition. And for shoes, I'm wearing these product pumps. They're a classic. I've had these for years. I wanted to wear something that was high that would elevate the, the hemline of the jean, and I think this does a great job. A nice classic pointed toe pump in a blue color, you know, something that kind of blends kind of into like the denim. And I'm wearing a size Italian 40, I think, for the shirt. It's either 40 or 42, whatever size that was on sale um, or available for the sale. And I got it from Setire. Y'all, you need to check out Setire. Setire is the place to shop discounted, heavily discounted designs. Um, so I think it's 40, either 40 or 42, which is US 4 and US 6. And then the jeans are US 4, which I think, I think area runs by, actually it's a, it's a US brand. So US 4, which is like for jeans, and then the numbers is a 28. I think these are a 28. Um, I'm between a 27 and a 28, depending on the brand, but these 28s fit great. So yeah. Okay. Ooh. 
But yeah, so the top is a small, it is by uh, Esteban Cortazar. By the way, the jeans are Italian 40, which is a US 4. Uh, Marcella runs by Italian size, but the conversion is US 4. So, two sizes. These are all super old, all these pieces are old, so I'll try and find some of the similars, but they're long since sold out. So, you probably won't be able to get the exact pieces unless they're on the resale market, and if I find it, I'll look at it. Um, but the top is by Esteban Cortazar. Esteban is a Colombian designer, and his eye for design is impeccable. He makes the most stunning creations. The creativity and the intricacies in his design elements are just beyond this world. So I have another dress, and I'll try and pop it up here for you all to see, also by him, and I just love it. I feel like he doesn't design as much anymore, um, but or just like make clothing. I'm not sure. He's been pretty dormant for the last several years. But I love Esteban. Check his stuff out. The bag is Valentino Rasta. It's an oldie but a goodie. All the fashion girlies were obsessed with it like five plus years ago. And I love how multifunctional it is. You can, you can wear it three ways. You can wear it on the shoulder like this. If you wear it on the shoulder, um, the long way, it falls off quite often, even this way falls off, so I don't work for too long if I'm like, walking around a lot. Um, the long way is better crossbody, so like it's just too long, but like bangs around, like not really, not really practical. Crossbody this. You also wear it as a clutch, and you can even remove the straps, the straps are removable, but you don't have to. I oftentimes just keep it on and wear it like this, with this little armband here, which is like so like, Cool and edgy. I love the edge that it adds to the look. But yeah, that's the overall outfit. And shoes are Dior. They're called the Dior Compass. They came out in 2014. I remember seeing them on Rihanna and like having to like just chase it down on the internet. And I finally found it on I think Best Year Collective. And I wanted the cute version as I, I will pop up a picture of Rihanna right here. And other people, I think Five Inch and Up uh, has a pair too. But I couldn't buy them. I got these in my size instead. And I love them. I actually do really love how the flats turned out and how they look with the different multi pair with. But yeah, that's yeah, good. So cute. One of my favorites. I don't think I'll ever get rid of anything in this look. But yeah. Pretty much the same way, but stitching the belt. 
but you can just see, this is a testament to see just how accessories can switch up a look. You can have the same basic elements or the same pieces and switch up one or two accessories or elements and all of a sudden the look is elevated or the look that you had before is even better, even more fashionable, even more tasteful. And that's what I have here. This Louis belt is, I forgot about it, <laughs> honestly. I got it about two years ago. I saw it on Monroe and she put me onto the belt. I loved how she rocked it and I feel like this belt doesn't get enough love. And I just, I was looking actually for the black belt. And okay, full disclosure, I shot this video twice. The first video just was a mess and I had to like, I just couldn't post it. <laughs> it was just that bad. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna redo it. And that's also why I'm behind schedule. So I'm supposed to schedule my next video for this past Friday, but because the videos and the looks that I filmed just didn't work out, I'm a video behind. So I'm reshooting the look. It's, hey, that's what happens, can't get discouraged. And I was reaching for the black belt that I originally wore in the first shooting of this video. And I couldn't find it, but then I saw this. And I was like, ooh, I forgot about this. This is better. So you will see a difference between the two outfits. And I love this more because the belt adds so much more interest. Like the detailing, the little pouch detail in front, like, hello. And the fact that this is a top that literally billows open, like the whole, like, your whole like belly section or torso is like out here and it's like literally showcasing this utility belt like this belt was made for this look i just i love how it came together tell me guys love it sound below let me know what you think maybe i'm packing this too much but it's like simplistic simplistic fashion like make it fashion but like elevated but not doing too much. And I think that's what this look is. This belt, I love it. I made the jeans high-waisted, as I was saying before, by putting this belt and then, you know, tightening it, pulling the jeans up, and then, you know, cinching it. And that made these jeans high-waisted. And they look great. And they don't bunch, they have, like, the jeans didn't bunch in the back, because, you know, sometimes when you make jeans high-waisted with a belt, like you raise, raise it up with a belt and it's not meant to be like high-waisted, it bunches and bulges. This didn't do that. But I just love it. I love how this whole look kind of came together. So the jeans, as you all know, as I just mentioned, are Forever 21. The top is Jacques Mousse. Loved it. Got on sale. Hopefully it's still available. I think they still have it in several, uh, on several websites. So I'll link them below. And yeah, just love this top. Like, I love the flow. I love how it's like oversized. I love the cut. It's similar, almost similar to that Esteban Cortazar shirt that I wore earlier, except this one has more cutout. And, well, cutout in the front, because the other one had cutout in the back. So, this one has a front cutout, and it has shoulder, like an exaggerated shoulder detail, which I love. You know, I love me a strong shoulder, I love me a padded shoulder, I love me shoulder pads. Sign me up. Let me get close so you can see the belt. So here's the belt. It has like the pouch detail. There's like two pouches. I think I eventually want to get a third pouch or like a third like piece to add, like a dangly piece, just to give it more of a, you know, make it more of a statement than it already is because I like to be extra sometimes. I mean, I'm a maximalist. Again, if you don't know, now you know. Um, but yeah, I love it. I love how this whole look came together. Just so casual, like the definition of casual is chic. And my bag is J.W. Anderson. It's an oldie but a goodie. I love the gold buckle detail. It goes really well with the gold hardware on the blouse, like the buckles, and the pants. I'm sorry, and the belt. And then for shoes, I'm wearing these Givenchy, I think they're called, they're called like horn heels, like G3 or 3G, 3G horn heels. And you've seen them before, if you've seen my other videos. And if not, here it is for the first time. They're just, they're just so cool. Like horn heels. 
Look at them. They're amazing. I love that they have the Givenchy emblem in front. If you know, you know. It's just, I searched the internet for these and I didn't give up. I didn't give up. And I found them on Saks Outfit. And I just snagged them. Saks Outfit already had it discounted in my size. That rarely happens. So, love these. Love, love, love these. Uh, and that's the look. So that should be it, y'all. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching. Please don't forget to like this video if you did like my outfits. And if you didn't, tell me why you didn't like it. I'm open to criticism, guys. Not cruelty. Criticism. To be, you know, it's all fashion. It's all part of fashion. So, I'm open to hearing your thoughts. Tell me which one you like the most, too. I want to know which one you like the most. Did you like this one? I don't know which one I like the most, so you tell me. Let me see. But again, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to send me, drop a comment or a like. And I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful week. Stay blessed. Stay kind. Stay respectful. And I will see you all sometime very soon. I promise I'm going to be consistent. I literally have at least one day per weekend that I'm dedicating to content. So you will be seeing more from me.